Islamic charity shut down by UK government for promoting violence in the United Kingdom. On May 23rd, the Charity Commission for England and Wales ordered Islamic Research Foundation International, or IRFI, to shut down after finding that IRFI had funded TV programming that promoted violence. The National Secular Society, or NSS, had expressed concerns about IRFI since 2018 in an open letter to the Charity Commission. Peace TV, a television program involved with the IRFI, had, was reprimanded in 2012 by broadcasting regulator Ofcom after a world-renowned, world-known, world-famous Islamic preacher, Dr. Zakir Naik, said that he tended to agree that Muslims should be executed if they leave Islam and try to proselytize a different religion, quote unquote, against okay, Islam. Okay, YouTube, just to be clear, these are not our views. We're just covering the news. None of this we agree with. So there goes that. Okay, so please do not strike us down, but go on. We are reporting on the views of other people. And... Um, in 2020, Zach, Zach Naik's Peace TV and Peace TV Urdu were fined £300,000 for, quote, broadcasting hate speech and incitement to commit murder, end quote. According to the uh, National Secular Society, they also had a long line of very controversial speakers like Bilal Phillips, who the U.S. government, government named as a co-conspirator in the September 11th attacks. According to the Charity Commission, the IRFI's remaining funds of uh, over or almost uh, 58,000 pounds has been tra transferred to three charities, quote, with similar objectives. Okay, so I don't understand. Can you break this down? Uh, Zekir Naik, was he, uh, this is in the UK, what does this got to do with him? So I believe he's actually been banned from the UK. Okay. Um, but so Zachary Nayak is maybe the world's most famous Islamic preacher. And yeah. he, yes, he is, is he is known because of his quote unquote <laughs> ironically, Peace TV is the name of his network. And so this charity called the Islamic Research Foundation International was associated or provided funding or services to Peace mm -hmm. TV. And because Peace TV, I, this is what I find interesting, is they got shut down because of they were promoting violence against ex-Muslims, actually. Okay. Yeah. Um, so... Okay, so here's a question: Were they, were they doing this in the UK or on channels that they have that is associated with their charity? Um, YouTube channel. I actually don't know where Peace TV okay. is based out of or where they film. Um, I, here's a question: Like, the, wouldn't I mean their Hadith books says that as well, right? Like you mm -hmm. have there are books within these mosques and these Islamic centers that advocates for the same thing, that this is part of Islamic scripture. So are you going to, so does, I don't understand how this works then, because if a preacher says that, then are you going to make the Islamic charity, you're going to shut it down and take all their money? Well, technically every Islamic charity if it's associated with a mosque or a, you know, Islamic teaching center, they have books, they have scripture that advocates for exactly that. So I don't understand if you have like a preacher on a, on a YouTube channel saying that you're going to shut them down. But if they have books that teaches that and you teach, you're teaching those books, then, like, what is the line? Because based on this standard, every single Islamic center needs to be shut down. It, based on so this standard. they were shut down because they were funding TV programs which in incited violence and murder. So it was the funding of the broadcasting okay. of these messages. So what if you're funding book publication that teaches the same thing? You, I mean, you bring a good point. Because Islamic hadith teaches exactly that. So you could so basically the red light, you cannot fund 
a TV channel that advocates that, but you can fund a book. So basically, are, are you saying that um, if the funding goes towards, if you want to promote hate, make sure you put it in a book and not in a TV channel? Is that what this red line is? I'm not familiar with the, the, but, but the red lines of UK I know, I know. charitable law. <laughs> but I you, know, but I'm you, just, this is a good point. Yeah, because, I mean, what he's saying is Islamic teaching. Like, he's not saying anything that is outside of Islam. This is verbatim in Islamic hadith. So I'm just saying, if you want to apply the standard to shutting down a charity, then every single, I, you know, I'm just, I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. It's this is the path. Um, am I committing a slippery slope fallacy? If I am committing a slippery slope fallacy, then you're telling me that that you should spreading hate towards TV channels not okay, but books are okay. So well, okay, he, if, he was, so PK is saying not really. It depends on if they're preaching directly or indirectly that stuff. Okay, so they can have it in a book. You should, just, you, but you shouldn't teach it. You should not be teaching that book. So if you open that book, if you were like, "Hey, let's read some Islamic hadith," and you open it and you read that part that where it says like ex-Muslims need to be ch go choppy choppy on their heads, right? Like, and they're like, "Oh, you should you shouldn't have read that. You should just have it in the book, and other people could read it, but nobody should have read it out loud in a mosque." Is that the red line? I don't understand. It's weird. <laughs> You're you're such a stickler for consistency. How dare you? Um, <laughs> okay, but, whatever the laws are, what do you think the lines should be? Do you agree with the shutting down of this charity? Do you think that was a good thing that they did? Yes, because they also had other violations of the charitable law in the UK. Okay, no, you're 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 that's cheating. What if this was their only thing? What if like they had no other violation, but they were like they were funding TV channels that directly said it's okay to go choppy choppy on ex Muslims? Yeah, that's incitement to violence. Okay. So what about having hadith books that is inciting to uh, that is inciting violence? So what, do you have, what about having scripture that incites violence? Is that okay? I mean, not okay. I mean, is that like, should we, uh, obviously it's not okay, but um, should that be something that you shut down a mosque or a Islamic group or whatever? Okay. Oh, Nagar is okay. Yeah. Hmm. That depends. I don't know why, but I, this is, this is not a logical argument. I feel like things are different in print. Like, because I wouldn't say, oh, you just banned this material outright because it can be useful to for the purposes of objective study to look at that kind of material. Okay, but in an Islamic teaching um, center, it's not objective. You're promoting it, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, so, we don't wanna, yeah. I'm just to no, this is that. very important to think about. I mean, I think incitement to violence is not covered under free speech so to be consistent the answer would be yes now it the, the reason why i'm pausing is because in reality i don't think that that can be enforced because of religious freedom laws so i'm like part of part of my hang up is like well how would we actually make that happen i don't know i feel like there'd be too many roadblocks people oh, are pretty challenging out. Yeah, I mean, people are saying from a pragmatic perspective, no, broadcasts reach more than books. So I guess, like, maybe maybe you could put that red line there. Like, hey, you could have your hate in your books, but don't put it on a YouTube channel or on a TV. Maybe that's yeah. the red line. Yeah. <laughs> Secular Rarity is saying, what? come on, Armin, rolling eyes. Everyone knows that books can't spread hate or violence, only YouTube videos and podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, that's... I mean, not to that, I know that's a joke, but books are harder, especially books that are scripture are harder to spread. Like you do have to put it in a YouTube format. Maybe that could, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not being an all or not. I'm not saying, oh, if you ban that, you have to ban the other things. Maybe that could be read the red line and maybe that could be the justification. The justification is like, hey, if scripture doesn't, uh, it's not, if you don't translate it in an easier 
consumable way for people on YouTube, maybe that's where the line where we where we draw the line. Yeah, why not? <laughs> PK PK is saying no one reads books. I think it's better. I think it's better if you just say no one reads. No one even knows how to read. I don't know how to read. <laughs> no, I mean that's technically true because the hadith books are in very di difficult Arabic, you know. Even yeah. So traditional That's actually Arabic. a good point with the hadith in specific in particular because it's so much more difficult if it's in written form to go search out that information versus I mean, like, like clips online. Think about the percentage of people who actually are Muslims who read the Quran with the understanding of what they're reading. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, that's a very, very low percentage. Okay. Even among Arab speaking Muslims, the, when they read the Quran, they're reciting the Quran. They're not actually reading the Quran. Right. Um, and I mean, even, not many Muslims even recite the Quran, right? you know, unless, you know, but um, that that's a very, very small percentage of Muslims that do that with the Quran. Imagine how many of them do that with the Hadith, right? It's like, oh, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's less than one percent. I would not be surprised. OK, less than one percent. OK, so. Yeah, yeah, very, very, very likely that it's less than one person for me at least unless there's other data that shows otherwise but so but if you put that in a video format then th yeah obviously that's gonna spread honestly i'm not i'm not that I, I wouldn't be that mad for people to put the hadith in a video format i think that put i think if you tell more muslims that that islam teaches you that it's okay to go choppy choppy on ex-muslims right i think that doesn't produce radicals I think that produces ex-Muslims. You know, this is why people like, oh, you're teaching radicalism. No, you're teaching people why to leave Islam. <laughs> that's what you're teaching them. I honestly yeah. think that's, I think that, you know, I have, that's why I say I give Muslims a lot more credit than a lot of people, uh, than, than a lot of Muslims seems to do. Like, oh, yeah, don't teach them these violent parts or don't teach, don't, don't teach them their, your I army, mean, you're like, you're like Daesh, you're like ISIS because you're telling them, <laughs> You're telling them the Quran means this, and then now you're going to turn them into radicals. Like, no, no, they're going to leave Islam when they learn about the, you know, Islam, you know, the true meaning of these verses. Yeah. Anyways, that's what I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Forever Storm is saying Armin is arguing all sides at the same time. Yes. First, like we should ban it. No, we should spread it even more because it produces more explosions. <laughs> <laughs> The duality of man. <laughs> hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below